Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas, and we're here today with the all-new Dynasty 300. So we just got our demo in. I've been welding with it, playing with it a little bit. It's it's a super nice machine. Um, so in this video, we're gonna go over the new and unique features to this unit, um, and just go into some of the menu items, and then we're gonna weld with this unit today. Um, so just to start out, uh, it, it's in a package that's a little bit. I don't want to say it's smaller, but it's just different looking. They added a screen, as you can see here on the front of the unit. Um, and, it, and instead of it being the old digital readout or analog readout, they added a uh, nice screen and it's, it's actually very nice, very clear. Um, it's different than the other models, uh, like the, the lower end equipment that they make. I, it's a nice screen, but nice package. It comes with the one point, this package comes with the 1.3 Coolmate on it. Um, this one we got with the wireless foot pedal. Um, now there was some assembly required. I just had to add the foot pedal holder and the TIG torch holder and the gas hose holder and the ground holder. So th those weren't bad though, they're just four, four bolts. They just tap right in. Um, actually a very light unit too. So I got it up on the table with very little effort. I mean, it's heavy, don't get me wrong, but it, it's not, I mean, you can you can manhandle it and get it up there. I, I was kind of surprised, I thought it was gonna be more of a two-person job it wasn't that um, so it's pretty light it's actually a small compact unit uh, very cool so what it came with we got our ground or i'm sorry our ground cable here our tig torch here and it, it came with a tig uh, kit so one of the starter kits and uh, all those came with this particular package um, but let's jump right into the screen here and uh, see what we can come up with so right now i just turned it on it just comes on automatically and uh this is the process that it came up with. So AC TIG high freak start 332nd. So we got our home button, menu button, and then down here at the bottom you can see we got process, trigger, pulse, AC wave, and menu. So new to this is basically it kind of took the old analog display, broke it down, and put it into a screen. It's pretty cool. So if we click on process, we can do AC TIG. High freak start, DC TIG high freak start, and then we can do lift arc, which is AC TIG, DC TIG. We can do AC stick, DC stick, and we can also carbon arc gouge with this. So unique to this unit, um, nothing big, right? You got 300 amps, so you're not gonna go above, you know, you're not gonna run a half inch carbon arc rod on this unit, but still very unique to this unit, pretty cool. So we're just gonna go back up to AC TIG, and you just click choose your process. You just, that's a push button there, and it changes it. We'll go up to AC TIG here. Next step is trigger. So this gives you a bunch of um, options that you could choose. So foot pedal, fingertip, push button start, push button hold, two tap, and 4T, 4TE, 4TL. Um, so it's kind of unique, but what it tells you is what's different in this unit. So we got our foot pedal. Well, it gives us a little sentence here. Remote amperage control through the foot pedal. So kind of cool that it, it's kind of breaking it down and telling you. So if we go down the 4T, because I get a lot of questions about this. So the up down arrows is push and release trigger, push and hold trigger and release trigger. So it's telling you where to, how to operate the 4T, 4TE, 4TL, 4TM, 3T. So it's, it kind of gives you a little brief description on how to run through, you know, how to operate those, which was kind of unique uh, to this model because they didn't used to tell you that. Now they were on the older dynasties, so the 350s, the 400s, but a lot of questions arose because people didn't know they were on there. They're in a secret or a hidden menu. I shouldn't say it was a secret menu because, um, but now they just put it all out there for the open for everyone to use. So we're going to go back because we got our foot pedal. We're going to go to pulse now. So interesting on the pulse, we can turn, we can turn it on and off um, and then pulses per second we can change into our advanced features. So peak on time, background amperage, so we can adjust all that. Now I'm just gonna turn the pulser off because we're not gonna pulse on the aluminum, but um, it is a feature so you can shut it off and see now it blacks all that out. So if it's off, you can't, you can't get to that. So, but just to get back into that, you turn, just toggle on and it's on, but we're not gonna pulse. Like I said, we're gonna shut that off. So we got the pulser off. We're gonna go into the AC waveform. So people are, are familiar with the dynasties. They know that you could adjust a lot of this stuff. So typically from the factory, um, it comes disabled. So then you can't adjust those, rem those remotely. But 
this this unique unit we can open that up now on the on the older style you could uh, change those you just had to get into that menu and change those open but we can adjust everything so just to run through we got our AC frequency we can adjust our balance um, we can adjust the EN waveform, the EP waveform, so electronegative, electropositive waveforms so independently of one another. We can adjust the negative and positive amperages independently of one another. And then commutation. Now, this was an option that's always been on the dynasties as well. Um, so commutation is just when it the arc crosses the point of zero right on the sine wave. It's it's um, most of them are all set to high. Uh, the low setting. Uh, is very rarely used, but you can do it. So it's gonna, it, it just has the, it gives you a brief description here, but provides a more aggressive, focused, and more suitable, suitable arc, or audible arc, I'm sorry. And then provides a less aggressive, softer, less audible arc. So a little bit quieter on the low computation, but can't be used on higher amperages. So factory always comes with high computations. So kind of a cool, they put that out there in the open for us to mess with. Now, Go back up to frequency, I can click on that. Now this is unique to this unit too. You can see I got a bead profile and a tungsten. And so if we just go, if I click on Pro Set, so it goes to Pro Set, now our green arrow lights up. That's where Miller says, hey, that's what, that's where the Pro Set feature is. Now that's common on uh, the more recent dynasties, but now it's on a screen and it tells us. So as, as we adjust our frequency, AC frequency, you'll see the bead change and the cleaning area change. So as we go up, the bead narrows, right? So we're going to narrow our arc, our bead profile as we increase our AC frequency. Um, so pretty cool. And you can notice the tungsten's actually changing too. So the ball on the end of that tungsten, and it's not necessarily saying it's balling it, it's just, it's just saying that you're, you're it's going to change the form of that tungsten because of what we're doing with the frequency. But now if we go down, right, so an old sinker wave is going to run right at 60 hertz, roughly. And you could you can manipulate them a little bit, but see much wider bead, more ball on the tungsten. So it's a little bit dirtier on that tungsten, but pretty cool. So just to go back to ProSet, go back to ProSet. Pretty sweet. So get out of that screen, go back. Then when we change our balance, it's going to have the ProSet feature of 75%. But if we change that, you can see the cleaning action around the bead change and our tungsten profile changes. So it's really cool. So it's really um, interactive with the guy that's adjusting his, or the welder that's adjusting his machine. So he can actually visually see what's going to happen to the bead as he adjusts his balance and his frequency. So um, really kind of gives you, it's instant gratification. We know what we're going to get. We know what we're going to see as long as we have all the perfect settings, right? So if we go above 80, you start to see little black spots in there. Now those might occur below 80, but um, that could be because the aluminum's dirty or we didn't properly prep it, that sort of thing. But it, it, it's, it's really pretty cool that we can interact with that machine. Now we're going to leave it at 75% because it's usually a pretty good setting. So to get out of that, go back. And then we're going to leave all our, we're going to just use a soft square, but to show you that, you can change. And now there's four wave formations on this soft square. Sine wave, traditional sine wave, triangle wave, and then we'll go back to square wave. So hard square, soft square, sine wave, triangle wave. So those were always on the Dynasty. They were in that hidden menu. Um, but now they're out and open, so we can all just, we can, now we have user, you know, easier user interface to access those different waveforms. Um, I won't go into the waveform, what each one will weld a little bit different, but we're gonna leave it on soft square. And there is a sentence underneath all, all of them that say, they give you what, you know, a brief description of what that waveform would be good for. Um, but we get out of that, we're gonna go back. And then we're gonna go, we're on AC wave, and then we're gonna go to tungsten. So to click on that, we're gonna open that up. So we can choose our tungsten. Now notice there's a picture here, and I believe it's black, blue, yellow, and it has green crossed out because inverters don't uh, particularly like to run on green tungsten because that tungsten doesn't transfer electricity properly or as well as the other colors. So you, typically they send gray, which is seriated, but we can adjust our size. So we can go eighth inch and then just general. So if we go above eighth inch, but we got eighth inch, 
332nd, 116th, 040, and 020. And that kind of gives us an amperage range to run on each one, which is pretty sweet. Uh, but we're going to run 332nd, so we got 60 to 250 amps, which is that's perfect for what we're going to do. And that, that that is actually the pro set is 332nd. And we're going to run that. We're going to go back out of there. We're going to go back to the process here. Um, oh, I'm sorry, we're going to go back home. So now we're back in our home screen where our amperages we can adjust, that sort of thing. So pretty sweet. Um, now if I go to menu and we get into this system information, that sort of thing. So basically gas, it's always been on there, but we said our pre-flow, post-flow, purge is off, go back system information that just gives us all the software um all the, and if we were going to update it that sort of thing uh, not much in here what we're going to use but just to show you uh there's a there is a lock um so you can lock this screen or lock the machine out and somebody would have to put a code in to unlock it if you were gonna have certain things enabled or disabled that sort of thing um there's a cooler power supply so i had this one it's on auto so as soon as we hit the foot pedal the cooler's gonna run and it's gonna do its thing until for a certain time period until it, it registers a certain temperature on the coolant. We can change the language now um, to these series of languages. Pretty pretty sweet. They didn't have that on the older ones. Um, USB. So if we had a USB plugged in, we it would pop up and we could either it would be for updates or troubleshooting. Uh, for service that sort of thing. also if you set up one dynasty and you're in a production facility And you want to set all the dynasties to the same you could plug that in call it out Save it and then go to each dynasty and it would save all that information From the first dynasty that you set up. So say you bought ten of these you want them all the same Boom boom you just run right down the line So pretty cool that you can do that and now it has that USB and it's easy. We got weld timer 14 pin e-control and a sleep timer. So weld timers if you're familiar with them, we could turn them on. It, it's just basically for uh, arc on time and foot pedal thing. We, we won't mess with that. Um, 14 pin E control. This one's for either we want to change the foot pedal or if you're going to do an outside remote control. So if you're not going to use a foot pedal, if you're going to automate this machine and put it on some sort of like a jet line or something along those lines to uh, run the TIG torch. And then we have a sleep timer, which is kind of interesting. Um, we can do on or off, and you can choose the amount of minutes. So if the machine's on and they're not welding and they go to lunch, you could set it for 30 minutes and the machine would shut off after 30 minutes. It, it just unique to this, this unit, um, kind of a nice feature. We're gonna go back, back out of there. Go, minute, go back home here. So that's, that's basically all our functions on this unit. Um, Let's give this thing a shot here. Uh, I'm gonna run AC uh, and TIG weld with it and uh, see how it welds. All right, so <clears throat> let's give this thing a shot here. I got 150 amps, 75% on the balance and 120 uh, hertz on the frequency. I like a little bit more frequency or a little bit more hertz, so, but we'll give it 120 a shot. That's the pro set. So let's give this thing a go here. It's really pretty cool. I, I mean, I've 
been welding with the older ones for a long, long time, and this one almost makes the setup just it's so much faster, and e it's just easier the way it is. So I, I know I talk to a lot of people that want to weld in their garage or at home or just at their shop, their own home shop. This, and they want 300 amps or you know right around there. They, it's perfect. And now this one comes in. 300 amp Dynasty 300, then the Dynasty 210 also has the same interface. So those those are the two newest ones for the lineup. The uh, so this replaced the Dynasty 280 DX, or the, the, both the 280 and the 280 DX, and then the, the 210 replaced the 210 and the 210 DX. Um, so there is no more DX per se because all that information is in there already. So the DX was the um, the advanced model with all the menu items and that sort of thing. Um, so this replaced it, but boy, for just from home hobby to industrial, I, I think this is gonna make every, everything simpler as far as set up uh, the processes. I mean, everything on it. So one thing I didn't show you earlier, and we'll set that down, is on this, this item, so there's one more button that I didn't show, that's the home button as the program. So we can hit you, we can save 99, there's 99 memory slots in here. We got recall, save, delete. So I got one set up in there. I named it Andrew. Click on it. It was basically just the same one that we were just using. I just had had it set up just to show you guys that we can select them. But if we go into, so that was memory number one, but there's 99 memory slots. So if you had job numbers or anything like that, you could put them all in there. WPS numbers. And it's just easier to recall that now than it was on the older ones. The older ones had them, had memory slots, but it was, it, the way it was set up, it was cumbersome to toggle through everything. So this one's just so much simpler. So if you're doing aluminum, then you want to switch to steel, you could program a steel slot for that one in number two and go bump right back and forth, but pretty awesome. Then we can obviously delete that one too. We'll go back, we'll go home. And so that's programmed. We're running program Andrew there. That's pretty cool. Other than that, all in all, great little machine. Love the new wireless foot pedals. And I'll show you something I'm going to love about them. Is it's no longer a cartridge. It's a threaded bolt. And then there's four AA batteries in the bottom. So if you remember, I think this is Gen 3. Um, there was a little cartridge and boy, those were those were a pain. Um, other than that, foot pedal, awesome. Everything about it is really pretty nice. But Thanks again for watching. Um, stay tuned if you got any questions or comments, please link them below. We'll do our best to answer everything. Um, and thanks again for watching.